If you want to learn how to do motion tracking on CatCut, then this video will show you how step by step. All right, let's use this video as an example and I'm going to track this person running and jumping in this video. So we can do motion tracking with an image like this, an image or a picture, or we can also do motion tracking with text. So let's start off with text. I'm gonna add a text to this video and let me just extend it throughout this entire video like this, okay? So we'll do the text first. And I'll show you that you can also do it with a picture, an image, or a photo. So for text, I'm just going to write something like this. Then let me choose a preset. So for motion tracking, you can put the text anywhere you want. If you want it to be over here at the side, then put it at the side. If you want it to be below him, put it like this, or here, or here. You can put it anywhere you want, right? So in this example, I'm just going to make the text like this. So it's on top of him at all times. So to do motion tracking, just click on tracking over here click on this icon which is motion tracking then you're gonna see this yellow box right so you're gonna move this yellow box to the thing that you want to track so it could be anything okay it could be a person that's running around it could be a building it could be an object on your table it could be anything so i'm gonna track this person like this and you can also customize the thing you want to track you can make it like this you can adjust the box to make it bigger as big as you want like this or as small as you want. So I'm just tracking this person like this. So I'm gonna make it smaller. And also there's this little paper that if you do it, then it turns into a circle like this. And you can also rotate like that, okay? You can rotate. So depending on the thing that you want to track, you may want to rotate it sometimes. But in this example, it's quite simple. We just track this guy. So let me just put the yellow box onto this person. Okay, moving on, you can see on the right side, there is scale and then there is distance. Now for scale and distance, it's up to you. You can test and experiment yourself to see which one you prefer, see which one would look better for your video. For me, I'm just gonna turn off both of them in this example, then remember to click on start and then just wait for it to start to track. And as you can see, right now, uh, CapCut is tracking the person, right? It's moving the text along with the person, just like this. So whatever they want to track, just put them inside the yellow box and CapCut will track them throughout the video. All right, so it's done. So now let me just play the video and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, the text is tracking the person right? Just like this. Now moving on, if you want to do motion tracking with an image or a picture or a photo, first you just adjust it to how you want it to look like. So I'm just going to move it like this to point at him, okay? So just adjust it to how you want it to look like. And once you're happy with it, you can start to do the motion tracking. On the right side, click on tracking, click on motion tracking. And remember, you have to adjust this yellow box, okay? Move it to the thing that you want to track. So I'm tracking this person like this. Now for scale and distance, it's up to you. For me, I'm just going to turn off both of them. Then remember to click on start. Then just wait for CapCut to track the person. All right, so it's done. Let me just play the video. So look, as promised, this is how to do motion tracking on CapCut.